Kidneys are important organs of the body to maintain good health. The two kidneys, uh, each kidney weighs 150 to 200 grams and are located below the rib cage. The, the symptoms of kidney diseases are decreased urine output and uh, swelling of the legs, swelling of the face, uh, nausea and uh, vomit sensation and decreased appetite and general feeling of unwell. There are two types of kidney, uh, kidney diseases, acute kidney disease and chronic kidney disease. Acute kidney disease means sudden and rapid worsening of kidney function due to any reason, wherein the kidney function uh, rapidly worsens and urine output drops and the patients become sick within a matter of hours or days. This is called acute kidney injury and the factors uh, causing these acute kidney injuries are very, very, very variable. Uh, Commonest among them is uh, infection. Infection due to any reason uh, like malaria, pneumonia, which can cause sepsis and then sepsis causing low, low blood pressure and causing acute kidney injury. Second thing is uh, drugs. Uh, many drugs uh, can cause acute kidney injury like uh, strong painkillers, native medicines, heavy antibiotics, heavy metal drugs. Next important cause of acute kidney injury is severe dehydration due to gastroenteritis. Wherein uh, rapidly BP falls and then uh, blood supply to the kidney comes down and the kidney function comes down. And other important uh, causes for acute kidney injury are kidney stones causing blockage, blockage to the kidneys and then autoimmune kidney diseases like what you call glomerulonephritis, vasculitis, they all cause kidney injury uh, which is sudden in onset and then once that causative factor is treated like for example if you treat the uh, uh, infection with antibiotics and then dehydrate the patient with IV fluids for dehydration and give steroids for <coughs> glomerulonephritis or allergy to the kidney or removal of stone blockage to the kidneys can all improve the kidney functions and majority of the time the kidney function becomes normal like uh, 90 to 95 percent of the patients uh, acute kidney is reversible and kidney functions becomes normal and some patients might require dialysis also in the, the, during this phase of acute kidney injury and uh, till the recovery uh, some patients will become very sick they, they will not pass much urine they will have a lot of acid in the blood potassium can go up when all this happens they might require temporary dialysis and uh, once the kidney function improves the dialysis is stopped and then uh, they'll go back to normal life and uh, rarely uh, maybe in 10 to 15 percent of times the kidney disease is not, not completely reversible kidney damage is not completely reversible and they may be left with some damage like uh, urea creatine may be little high slightly elevated than the normal normal people next coming to the uh, other another class of kidney disease called chronic kidney disease wherein the kidney function uh, comes down over a period of months to years like for example somebody's kidney function is normal today and then uh, their kidney function decreases by 10 percent 20 percent after one year so that's called chronic kidney disease so how to identify chronic kidney disease so many many other times the chronic kidney disease chronic kidney disease is not uh, identifiable unless you do a blood test the blood tests are uh, urea and creatine you check blood urea creatine urine routine for protein in the urine so early kidney disease is uh, easily can be easily missed and uh, detect, detection of kidney disease in early stage is most important to, to prevent further progression and uh, complete kidney damage. The most common cause of chronic kidney disease are diabetes. The, the two diabetes is persisting for more than uh, 5 to 10 years or 15 years and which is not controlled well. Where the hemoglobin A1C is not maintained less than 7.5% or 7%. That is the most common cause of kidney disease what we see in general practice and also statistics. So in our dialysis center, uh, out of 100 patients who are undergoing dialysis, 60 patients are uh, the, 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 the diabetic patients. So, with India being the diabetic capital of the world, so it's very important for people to take care of the diabetes first in the early stage of diabetes onset, and so that the further uh, the kidney the, the disease the prevention of kidney disease, heart disease can be prevented in the long term. The second important cause of chronic, chronic kidney disease is hypertension. Hypertension also, which is not controlled. Controlled hypertension is an, uh, harmless. So BP should be maintained. The target BP for the general population is 140 by 90. Less than 140 by 90 should be the BP target and uh, they should try to achieve it immediately after the onset of hypertension rather than waiting for a long time and then getting the kidneys damaged. So we are seeing nowadays in practice young people, the 30 years, 35 years, 
ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स कमिंग विथ हई बी पी का विच इज नाट कंट्रोल काज किडनी डैमेज सो सो बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ चेंज इन द सोसाइटी लाइफ स्टाइल चेंज डयट हेज चेंज सेंटरी हेबिट्स कम इन स्मोकिंग हेज इनक्रीज एंड साल्ट इंटेक हेज इनक्रीज सो आल दिस मेकिंग इंडियन पॉपुलेशन यंग पीपल गेटिंग इन टू हईपर टेंशन काजिंग किडनी प्रॉब्लम हार्ट डिजीज इन द लेटर इन द लाइफ द अदर इंपॉर्टेंट काज ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिटीज रिपीटेड रिपीटेड यूनिट आफ इनफेक्शन दिस इज मोस्टली सीन इन एलडरली पीपल बिकॉज ऑफ लॉन्ग स्टैंडिंग डायबिटीज एंड प्रोस्टेट एनलाजमेंट एंड देन डायबिटिक ब्लैडर प्रॉब्लम विथ वेर दे अनेबल टू फील सेंसेशन ऑफ ब्लैडर फुलनेस आर कम इनकम ब्रिंग एम टी ऑफ द ब्लैडर दे आल गेट प्री डिस्पोज टू डेवलपिंग यूनिटाक इनफेक्शन एंड एनी यूनिटाक इनफेक्शन इन एलडरली विथ डायबिटीज कॉम्प्रोमाइज किडनी फंक्शन विल लीड ऑन टू क्रॉनिक किडनी डैमेज एंड रिपीट इनफेक्शन डेफिनेटली कॉज मोर मोर किडनी डैमेज सो अवॉइडिंग इनफेक्शन इन एलडरली विथ डायबिटीज इज आलो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टू प्रिवेंट डेवलप क्रॉनिक किडनी डिसीज अदर इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन फॉर क्रॉनिक किडनी डिसीज टेकिंग अनवॉन्टेड मेडिसन ओवर द कौंटर मेडिसन especially pain killers we see many elderly people with joint pains low back pain and muscle pain they keep on popping one pill a daily so that they feel comfortable but uh, this will continue for many many years and they slowly they, they lose the kidney function and uh, develop kidney disease and come to dialysis so avoiding strong pain killer intake and then native medicines herbal medicines go a long way in preventing chronic kidney disease so most of the chronic kidney disease what we see in the general population is avoidable which is reversible and we, but that cannot be reversible once it develops chronic kidney disease uh, it cannot be brought back to normal kidney functions and also inexorably the kidney function will progress and uh, gradually um, they'll they develop they land up in chronic kidney disease uh, and to end stage disease and then uh, to dialysis so how long the kidney disease lasts and the kidney function lasts and uh, when they develop dialysis and all difficult to tell that depends upon the patient to person to person how they're maintaining their uh, bp and sugar diet avoiding other unnecessary uh, medicines and avoiding further insult of the kidney and depends upon the kidney disease itself some diseases progress fast rapidly and some diseases progress very very slowly so the, for example diabetic kidney disease progress very fast within uh, see, somebody may be having diabetes for 20 years after the end of 20 years they develop kidney disease within 2 to 3 years they are on dialysis so the depends of kidney disease also and also how they maintain the kidney disease and then treatment what they continue how they how many frequent visits they see a doctor so it depends on many factors for the kidney disease progression and the treatment for chronic kidney disease is maintain the bp once the chronic kidney disease develops we cannot decide to mention is not reversible just maintain the bp uh, uh, less than 140 by 90 and if there are a lot of protein in the urine is still uh, target is still lower it comes to 130 by 80 so low bp maintain hemoglobin a1c at 7% and uh, they have to take uh, cholesterol tablets reducing agents and then they have to take aspirin and then vitamin d supplements and calcium and phosphorus metabolism has to be all will be altered that has to be <coughs> uh, maintained and hemoglobin also comes down in patients with chronic kidney disease that has to be improved so low hemoglobin chronic kidney disease patients is because of uh, the hormone called erythropoietin that is normally produced by kidneys uh, the production comes from like uh, diabetes developing uh, uh, insulin production comes from from pancreas the same way the insulin is a hormone produced by pancreas so when uh, in, uh, insulin production comes from the patient will develop diabetes same way uh, in hormone called erythropoietin is produced by the kidneys the production comes from patient with chronic kidney disease and uh, they'll develop anemia so this can be easily corrected with an external supplement of erythropoietin injection and uh, that has to be taken weekly once uh, once in two weeks depending upon the response that will maintain the hemoglobin and correction of anemia by uh, vitamin d supplement uh, vitamin b12 supplement iron and uh, folic acid supplement has to be given okay, okay prioritized and uh, the most of the chronic kidney disease patient develop uh, heart disease so there is a like a connection between kidney kidney disease and heart disease so kidney disease may be the decreasing kidney function itself like uh, the creatinine can go up from normally 1 if it goes up to 1.2 1.3 is also considered as chronic kidney disease because it means there is so much decrease in kidney function already happened so 20% kidney function is decrease can increase the creatinine by 0.2 0.3 mg so decrease the kidney function and then protein leak in the urine very minute protein leak in the urine called microalbumin 
or heavy protein in the urine. They all cause uh, damage to the blood vessel and uh, these blood vessel damage can cause heart disease. So we have seen patients with uh, young patient diabetics with kidney disease developing heart disease and coming to the hospital. And static 6 also proves uh, all over the world the incidence of kidney heart disease in kidney patients with uh, means with protein the urine or decreased kidney function is 10 to 20 times normal at high, higher than the normal population. That means uh, the patients the developing chronic heart disease in the patients with kidney disease is quite high. So one is uh, you have to prevent developing the chronic kidney disease or once they develop chronic kidney disease you have to take care of the heart also by the regular monitoring of the heart condition by doing ECG, echocardiogram and uh, meeting the cardiologist weekly, yearly once or once in a year, two years and see what is the heart, con heart condition. And also along with that, they have to maintain the BP, sugar, take cholesterol reducing agents, aspirin. So all this uh, will go a long way in uh, minimizing the incidence of heart disease in the chronic disease patients. Another important uh, reason, another important uh, organ that is involved by chronic kidney disease is uh, muscles and bones. Muscles uh, become weak and the bones become brittle and they are more prone to develop fractures. With minimum trauma, just uh, especially elderly, just uh, slip in the bathroom at home, they will fall, uh, fall down and they suddenly develop, they see the fracture of the hip bone and the spine is uh, common. This, becomes, uh, this is because uh, chronic kidney disease makes the bones weak. So to maintain the bone health, normal health, they have to take uh, calcium supplements, vitamin D supplements and then the parathyroid hormone which is elevated that has to be controlled well and regular physical exercises and uh, maintaining muscle strength and nutritious food. All this will uh, prevent uh, if easy fracture and then strengthen the bones. And these patients, uh, diabetic especially, also develop neuropathy. So neuropathy where the, they cannot, uh, the sensation for uh, cold or hot temperature or uh, pain, the, it's all reduced and uh, perception with the, the, when they walk on this uh, road or in the home, the sensation that the, what they, they get from the uh, floor will all be less. So the more chance of developing the tripping and falling. So neuropathy is an important uh, uh, contributor for the developing fractures. And also <clears throat> the pain, what they get CKD patients because of uh, muscle weakness and the things, the, they get accentuated by neuropathy also. So how to prevent neuropathy is uh, maintain the blood sugar and good control. HbA1c is 1%, 1.5% will, uh, will prevent development of neuropathy. And even after you develop neuropathy, you still maintain blood sugar uh, brings down the symptoms. And there are many medicines are available which can control the symptoms of neuropathy. And uh, these are some of the main organs which are involved in chronic kidney disease and uh, how to prevent and what treatment to be given, I'll explain to you. And once the patient develops uh, end stage kidney disease, ultimately the, uh, the choice will be either to go for kidney transplantation or go for undergo lifelong dialysis. But the first choice should be always kidney transplantation because uh, it completely rehabilitates the kidney functions. But uh, dialysis uh, will give partial rehabilitation. It will give back to the body only 20% of the kidney function. But kidney function becomes 100% rehabilitation done by kidney transplantation. Uh, if the donor is available in the family and uh, financially is okay, then the first of choice will be always kidney transplantation. And uh, people who cannot find a donor or they are not fit for transplant, like for us, people may be having stroke, malignancy, or they may have liver disease, heart disease, which is not uh, in a, treatable. So elderly and some people are very happy with dialysis, they don't want to take chance of kidney transplant. So for him we will put them on dialysis and uh, whenever they find donor after a few years also they, they can undergo transplant. Nowadays a brain dead uh, kidney transplant program is also becoming more active in India and also in Karnataka. So more and more people are coming forward to donate their organs after death and uh, the cadaver program increases means the waiting period of a kidney transplant also comes down.